welcome to Everyday Canines video. In this episode, we're going to show you how to teach the crawl trick. So crawl, let's see a crawl. Marlon, come here. Down, please. Wait. Crawl. Ah, you got up. Come here. Down. Crawl. 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 Good boy. So the crawl trick. Now, this is quite a challenging trick for your dog to do. Um because they're functioning in a very unusual way. They're having to think of things in different, you know, then they're not using their body how they would normally, and it's not a way they do it. So, when I'm doing teaching crawl, I'm fairly generous on what I would expect. Um, with Merlin, you can see he crawls quite low, but some dogs might be tempted to have their hind legs up a little bit higher. And I'm okay with that if they need to do that to help them crawl. The whole point is they're actually in a lower stance. They're not just walking. Teaching this game. This is a game that needs patience to build up. It took me quite a while to teach Merlin um, to get it onto a cue, as you just saw. It took ages. Um, with Swift, it's been a bit quicker, but probably that's because I've learned from Merlin. So to start with, we set our dogs up in a nice down lovely and we want a proper down we don't want a, any feet sticking out we don't want to say because we need them to be what they call a sphinx down everything's tucked under because that's what we need them to do just shuffle you around a bit man good boy now we're going to have a treat in our hand and we're going to just pull it forward good boy you might not get as much as we had i had all four feet move then in that crawl but you might just get a little tiny shuffle like that that's enough. That's the beginning of crawl. And you do that a few times. This is another game which I don't like to overdo the repetitions on because especially at the start, because it's a hard game for them to do physically. So I would keep the repetitions very short, and build up a day by day. Okay, so when you're first doing it down, you reward a single crawl. As they get better, we're gonna reward <laughs> two crawls now Merlin when I taught this trick to him and I don't know and he still does it he always liked to put you saw he puts his paw on my hand and as we go when I gradually pull my hand along he comes with me it's very weird I don't know whether that's him saying just will you stop moving the hand or it's just a little habit he's gotten into with this game but it's very cute so break can you come here down please um, another thing to bear in mind I always make sure they've got a nice surface to do this on nice and soft good boy good boy and one more good boy good boy um, because it's kinder on them you know they're having to drag across you wouldn't want to be dragging across the floor that was hard or gravelly or anything so I always make sure they've got a nice soft surface that isn't going to slip out from under them once you're getting it so they're crawling along nicely three in a row um, the next step is to not have your hand luring them Okay, so we go back. So this is where you might need a little bit of a weight. And if you haven't got a weight, I can say wait. But if you haven't got a weight, you might have to just hold them. And now I've got here, okay, crawl, crawl. Good boy. So I want him to have to crawl to me. He's not just following the lure. He's actually having to think what he's doing and crawl to me. And I don't expect the full set of crawls I was getting. So I was getting three nice crawls there. But at this stage, I, when I'm just having the hand a bit further away, I'd be happy with just one. Okay, crawl. Okay, oh, crawl. What you doing, mother? Oops. And that'll happen. They get up sometimes, down. Okay, crawl. Yes, good boy. Okay, so now you've got your hand here and you don't have to have the treat in it anymore. I don't have the, the treat goes, the treat is now in this hand. But you might need to keep this hand out of the way because sometimes they get a bit obsessed with this hand, apologies, set, obsessed with this hand and then they're looking at the hand, not yet. So once you've got your hand there, now I have a cue, and this is my cue, this is crawl for me. Hey man, crawl. I don't know why, it's just the cue I like and it just, I tap my fingers on the floor and that means crawl. As I'm doing this, um, from a fairly early stage, I'm giving the cue, the verbal cue, crawl. So even from the stage when I'm luring, I'm using that word, crawl, to pair it with the behavior. Break, come here. Down. Good boy. And now, as you're going along, wait, please. You keep moving the hand further. Crawl, crawl, 
mackerel. Good boy. Can you see? He knows there's treats in this hand. So he's looking at this hand. So I'll just take this hand out. Okay. Ready? Mouth. <laughs> okay. Down, please. Thank you. Okay, crawl. You are a good boy. So you keep building up the distance. Eventually, you're going to be able to have him at one end and you can be the other end and you might not even have to have your hand. You could just have it on a verbal. I've got it with a little bit of hand signal. I could probably get to the stage where I just had it on the word crawl and he would do it me standing up. Obviously, the more space you've got, the further you can get them to crawl. I don't overtax them with this game because it is hard going on them and it is a lot of work on the body. There's, I don't know if there's any value to it in terms of body awareness as such, but it's a fun game to teach. It looks cute and it's just another little thing that we play and you enjoy doing it, don't you? So I hope that's given you an idea how you teach crawl. Um, I would be patient with this and I would expect this to take you weeks, not days. Uh, and you might have to go back and forth with it to get it right. If you find your situation where your dog keeps getting up, perhaps they do one crawl, then get up, then you need to go back and reward that single crawl and then move forward again. You need to take this patiently and, and really build the reinforcement for doing that crawl behavior. Cool boy, hey? I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you might like to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I hope to see you all again really, really soon.